All right, are we ready, gamers? Hi, I just ordered here and there's mold on my bread. I want a refund. Okay, I'm just gonna say this straight away, okay? If you find mold on your food, are you gonna approach somebody this way? There's mold on my bread, I want a refund. I would never do that. I would probably like be like, hey, I, I just came through, I ordered this like five minutes ago and I opened it up and I found mold on it. Is there any way that like I could potentially get a new one or a different one? Or is it possible for me to get a refund for this? Because like, that's kind of gross, you know? Something like that, you know what I mean? Like you don't go, there's mold on my burger, I want a refund, basically like, throwing it at the woman for my whole meal for the whole meal you want a refund for the whole meal oh my god she wants a refund for the whole meal it's a one it's a, it's just the burger that's messed up you don't need a refund for the whole thing okay until the whole meal i didn't think she was that bad yeah i don't know i think her tone and then i paused it right at the right moment and then it was boom and for the whole meal and smell it tell me if that smells right to you smell the top bun that's, that's not mold that's flour that's the bun okay and smell it demanding and this woman is straight up telling her that's not mold that's flour if it's white and it's just like dusty probably is flour i feel like mold on bread is not usually white i feel like it's usually green or black adam bun i'm talking about the top there's green on there okay and like four areas four areas and smell it put it up to your nose put your mask down and smell it I, I don't like that. Pull your mask down and smell it. Don't tell people what to do. She can see it with her eyes. She doesn't need to smell it. It doesn't even smell right. I want my money back. Okay, lady. That's not how you're gonna get your money back. That's not how you're gonna do it. That is so rude. Okay, let's see how this goes down. I want to see the mold. Why didn't they record the mold? What are you doing? Taking the receipt to somebody. He's like, I didn't throw the sandwich at her face. Okay. I, I need to just say this. If it is mold, then okay, I can understand her anger. Like she spent money going out to eat. Like I get that. And it's not cheap to go out to eat, right? And you're not buying it to look at it. The way she's acting is just pissing me off. So for her to say she's lucky I didn't throw it at her, this lady didn't put the mold on your food. It's not her fault. She's just an employee. That's the same thing as like, you get into a, like an argue, let, let's say you get into an argument with your partner or your sibling or a friend, and then they piss you off and you say, you're lucky I didn't hit you. That is so, that is so wrong on so many levels. Like learn to control yourself. You're not entitled to hurt other people. You're not entitled to hit people. You're not entitled to throw things at people. They're not lucky that you didn't do it. You should not be doing that at all. That's so fucked up. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's lucky she's not the one cooking. I wanna go throw it at the ones fucking cooking the food. Even then, it's not the fault of the people cooking the food. It's not their fault and you shouldn't throw food at people just because you're pissed off. Grow up, you're not a toddler. How do they miss mold? I mean, it's five different spots on there that's green. I saw it right when I opened my sandwich. I know, I saw it too. You showed it to all of us. Is it just me or do these people sound like actors? Like they sound like- I know, you showed it to all of us. Okay. And I want to talk to a manager as well. That's just overkill. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's overkill to be like, and I want to speak to your manager. Girl, you get your refund and leave. Like, you don't need to speak to the man. Like, I get it. Like, you want to talk to them, be like, what's going on with like this? Like, you need to fix this, whatever. But come on, dude. I am, and you're acting like a psycho. So you let your cooks give people molded bread. She is the manager. She is the manager. And this girl is acting like a psycho. Good for her for calling it out. Happen, and I am sorry about that. You can open that sandwich and see. You better give me my money back or I'm calling corporate. Call the police. Give me my receipt. Give me my receipt now. Good for her. Put her in her place. The burger would have been thrown back into the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no wrapper or anything. Just throw it back in. Let the lettuce and the sauce go everywhere. But good for her for like not taking it. That's good. Like pe more people need to do that. Don't tolerate that. If somebody's treating you that way, do not tolerate it. Close the window in their face. Stop talking to them. Block them out. Ignore them. Good for her. We have you on video. Good, good. You have her on video calling you out, putting you in your place, telling you you're acting like a psycho because you are acting like a psycho, and you have yourself on video 
acting like a psycho. That's so weird. I, people, Karens are so weird. I have you on video. You also have yourself on video. Do you not see how crazy you're acting? Like you recorded this for what? To prove you're right, but then you acted like a crazy person and you posted it online. They posted this online. They thought they were in the right. I feel like people don't realize this, this is gonna come back not only to her, but to her family. And if she has kids and people recognize that this is, oh, that's like Jason's mom. Jason's mom is crazy. That kid's gonna get bullied for that. Like, that is so embarrassing. She did not just lock the door. Stupid bitch! Give me my money back! Stephanie, yeah. quit. We have you on video and we're calling corporate, dumb fat bitch! Oh my god! Okay, what? <laughs> Let me just rewind that. What? She did not just lock the door. Stupid bitch! Give me my money back! Stephanie, yeah. quit. Yeah, Stephanie, quit. What the hell? That is an extreme reaction. I'm just gonna say this right now, guys. This, it, even if the person does not touch you, even if the person does not physically come in contact with you, this is still physical abuse because they are they are getting physical in order to intimidate you, in order to get you to do what they want. That is physical abuse. I'm just saying that is physical abuse and you should know that in case you're ever in a scenario like that. Knowledge is power. We have dumb fat bitch you also have your cell phone video again the fact that she calls her dumb fat bitch she is now resorting to insults personal insults because she didn't get what she wanted because this person did not comply with what she wanted this is toddler behavior three-year-olds act th three-year-olds act better than this three-year-olds know that you don't act like this when you don't get what you want what the heck and then she's like threatening her i have this all on video okay you're recording yourself acting crazy your friend sitting in the seat next to you recognizes that stephanie stop or stephanie quit whatever they said they recognize that you're acting like a crazy person what are you doing and you still posted it online these people are so entitled they get everything they want everything goes their way they manipulate everyone around them they, they they intimidate everyone around them to get what they want and then they act like crazy people when they don't get it because they're so used to it oh god okay notice that notice how she drives away she said give me my money then she knows the manager at the restaurant was recording her so she drives off you had no problem recording this woman, but as soon as she's recording you, you have an issue with it? Why? Why is that? Why the hypocrisy? I can't believe her how she treated she you that way. I can't believe her how she treated you that way? Did you not just see freaking Miss Stephanie Karen over here? Boom, 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 give me my money. What do you mean? Smell it. Pull down your mask and smell it. You you were treating her far worse than she was treating you. She was being very respectful, actually. This is another thing. How are you going to act like that over four, four to seven dollars? How much is a burger where you guys live? That angry over that much money? Seriously? You have other issues at that point. I don't know, man. It is, it's just weird to me the way that people act over this stuff. Like, this was just a power trip. This was just her trying to get her way, manhandle her way into getting her, all of her money back. She, just the burger is she, what she wanted to give back, but she wanted the refund for the whole meal. I don't know, man. That's too much. So I just wasted money at that place. I'm pissed. Yeah, clearly. Thank you for your patronage.